Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Still morning, guys. Uh, we're going to have some fun today. We are going to compare two grinders, uh, Niche versus DF64P. So DF64P is kind of like, I don't, want, I don't want to say competitors uh, to Niche. They are completely different grinder. We have the flat burr versus conical burr. But you know what? <sighs> okay. So over the years, I was really diving into the grinding, the dialing in espresso. And you have to remember one thing. It's not the grinder, okay? Somewhat, but it's all about the burrs, okay? If you have the right burrs, uh, we are doing the simulcast right now with my Discord members. Hold on a second. Hopefully, we're going to have some backtrack on our internet connection here. And uh, we are doing the simulcast of our uh, Discord channel. And uh, I asked them earlier, would you prefer DF64 with MP burst, the multi-purpose burst, versus uh, P64? We are talking about Lagon, the optional Lagon, the P64. That's really high-end. Uh, the grinder with uh, HU burst. And then most of them told me that I want the MP burst. So, Yes, um, if you are, I mean, again, uh, a lot of people are going after the grinder, the build quality and design and aesthetic. I know a lot of you out there going after the flavor. So in the end of the day, it's all, all about the, what's in your cup. So uh, having said that, so we have two different birds here. We have a niche grinder, obviously the stock uh, conical birds. The P64 we have, uh, Gorilla burst, okay. Go, uh, the 64 millimeter flapper gorilla burst. Oh, and then, then let me show you the design of gorilla burst. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, let's do that. Okay, hopefully, I can show you the design. If I can find the, actually, I do not have, I don't have pictures for it. Hold on a second here, folks. Just bear with me. Uh, I'm having some little difficulty in. That's the great thing about the live streaming. I have no control. I'm keep saying I'm gonna upgrade my internet connection, but someday, okay, someday I'm gonna have. I think I should do this one at home because I definitely at home, I have much better connections than this. So, okay. So I'm trying to looking for the, because I don't wanna open the birds up right now, but hopefully I can find some, the gorilla, Burst the picture of it there. Hold on a second here, folks. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, then welcome to live streaming. Okay. Hold on a second here. Image. Here we go. Hopefully, you guys can see it. This is like Gorilla Burrs, okay? As you can see, a lot of breakers. A lot of breakers uh, throughout the grinder, the burrs there. More breaker means you're gonna have you know, more fines. So, because obviously the conical burrs has a lot, you know, that's why conical burrs has a lot of fines. So give you that very, uh, really rich body and good texture. So, hold on a second. Man, I'm having some technical difficulty. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so we are going to compare two birds. Uh, co uh, conical bird versus the H, uh, not the HU. This is the Gorilla Gear Burrs. So, so hopefully give you similar, I don't want to say similar. We are talking about the flat versus conical. But in this video, we are going to compare how much difference in the flavor. The tasting notes, let's put it that way. I'm going to be using the same coffee all week. Uh, this is the Ethiopia from Good Brothers Coffee here. Uh, very fruity, uh, strawberry, lemon, and flour. So it should be good. I already measured out 18 grams each. What else I have here? Again, uh, I'm using the identical, the IMS, the precision basket. Not the regular precision basket. So I have a two identical baskets. So uh, we, we're going to do some good comparison. All right, guys. Let's get going. Okay. 
here we go folks so again I have a simple setup so let's start with you know what I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, prepare both shots so let's do back-to-back -back shots so let's do back-to-back -back so you guys can see it okay here we go uh, let's start with a niche comes to workflow on niche is pretty enjoyable but I wish that spins right now so but that's something we have to deal with meantime let's grind from P60 uh, DF64 okay here It's a lot loud from P, uh, DF64 P. Definitely quieter from niche grinder. I'm just going to do quick WDT. For the consistency sake, I'm going to be using the force temper. Man, you see a lot of head space. All right, so this is the niche grinder. This is a P64 with Gorilla Gear Burrs. Okay, Gorilla Gear here. I'm just going to do... Okay. Man, so this one again. A lot of head space between. I um, mean, you can usually tell by the grinder size. The seems like this is the uh, Gorilla Gear grinder size, a little bit more, more finer than the niche. But you know what? In the end of the day, it's all about the. I'm gonna pull a, a one to two ratio. Okay, one to two. Hopefully we are in line, okay? In line with the shot time. I'm gonna use. There I go, guys. Okay, let's. Uh, this is a niche grinder. I'm already at 16 seconds. Okay, I'm at 20, 30, 32 seconds at about 37 gram. Okay, so that is a, I got 32 at 37 gram. So I'm gonna do another 37 gram shot uh, using the this time is a Gorilla Gear Burst, okay. All right, so let's get going. So this shot number two, I'm just gonna hit up my... Okay. 
Clean my uh, puck screen there. Okay. Because you do want to clean your puck screen. All right, this shot number two with Gorilla Gear. We're gonna do another 37 gram. Shot number two. We're gonna do 30, again, uh, 37 gram. Let's find out how long it's gonna take. The niche shot was about 32 seconds. I got 38 gram at 28 seconds there is about four seconds off. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is the Gorilla Gear Burst versus Niche. Maybe if, if this is way off, comes to flavor wise, I'm just gonna do a dial in for the Niche one more time. Okay, a little finer. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get going. Let's do some taste. All right, here we go. Okay, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, we so this is what we do all the time. <clears throat> all I mean, not all the time, but uh, pretty much, you know. So this is how we do it. Uh, my setups are very simple. I have I'm using my iPhone. I know my friends at Discord give me a hard time about why don't you upgrade my camera, but yeah, we will. Okay, we will. All right. Uh, from Niche, from uh, DF64P, the Gorilla Gearbirds. So let's try this shot here. Cheers, guys. Okay, has a nice body to it, nice texture, lemon, definitely lemon, and some flora as well. Strawberry, kind of like strawberry, it's kind of like finishing notes. There's a Strawberry. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to uh, Gorilla Gearbirds. Here we go. Cheers, guys. More brighter. Hold on. The body is not as much, you know, not as a uh, niche grinder. More clear, more clarity. Okay, now I can taste the strawberry. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, just, just this shot alone, okay? I definitely go with uh, Gorilla. Burst gear comes to taste wise. For this one, again, think of it as kind of like milkshake. Uh, let's put it that way. Has, you know, if you have a lemon, strawberry, just mixed together, that's what you're going to taste on niche grinder. With the Gorilla Burst, you're going to have some separation as well. So it's all, all about the what you're compared to, right? So, I mean, like yesterday, we were comparing with the high uniformity versus the MP birds yesterday. Which one has more clarity? Uh, based on the namesake, you think high uniformity, but it's not. MP bird has more clarity. So, uh, so think of it as, so <clears throat> I'm going to rank this. If you are looking for clarity on your coffee, so we have an MP birds, number one. We have an HU birds. And then we have cast, okay? Number three is cast. And then a uh, niche grinder as clarity. clarity. And if you are looking for the body, okay, if you have a lot more body and texture to it, go opposite direction. Okay, so you, you're gonna have a uh, niche as a body to it, more body. We got cast, we have a high uniformity and MP. But whenever it comes to bird selections, there's something you have to decide what do I want okay 
what do I want on my coffee? Uh, you know, if you are using a lot of kind of like uh, darker roast, medium to darker roast, like Colombia or kind of like South America, has a lot of strong uh, kind of like chocolate finishing notes. You might want to go with more like has a little bit more fines, okay, has more body to it. So give you that, you know, if you drink that your espresso, give you a nice body and uh, really wonderful chocolatey tasting notes. Uh, if you are, if you like that kind of tasting notes, maybe like Casper's, okay, Cas to even like niche grinder, they'll give you that option. But if you like to drink lighter roast, right, uh, light to medium, if you enjoy the, the fruity notes, floor, uh, kind of like tropical flavor, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, high in acidic, brighter, okay, let's bright, uh, bright tasting notes. You might want to go with more, kind of like MP birds maybe, okay, definitely MP or HU, you want to be more right on between. So again, but this level is all about the birds because Right now, if I'm going to pick one right now, I think I'm going to go with uh, DF64P because I like the coffee from Casper's, okay? Then H, uh, from uh, the niche grinder. So again, it all depends on what kind of flavor you want. I mean, obviously, if you are watching my channel over the years, I mean, you know, okay? You know, I mean, what, at this point, it's not the equipment. It is... Okay, it's all about the birds. Okay. It is all about the birds right now. I mean, if you are into uh, diving to this way, uh, this level, we joke, uh, we joke a lot on our Discord channel. Uh, we are in the rabbit hole, okay? Once you're in the rabbit hole, guess what? So not only, uh, so before you are looking at, hey, which grinder is better, right? Is a niche grinder is better or DF64 is better? But once you get into it, now, hey, which birds for which coffee? So there's no end, okay, folks? It's about 30 of you watching right now. Um, if you're looking for, hey, which grinder should I get? And then once you get the grinder, you know what? Now you have more options. That's why I like the 64 millimeter setup. Uh, that's why it's, uh, DF, DF, okay, DF 64. That's the reason they are so popular because you have a lot more burr options out there. I'm gonna shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet. Uh, he hooked me up with these grinders and these burrs to allow me to, you know, share with you on this channel. So, yeah, yeah, check out his website, okay, Espresso Outlet. Joe, he got everything. Okay, if you decide to go with the DF, all right. Do not. Okay, here's my recommendation: Do not buy the stock burrs. You are going to get bored with it, all right? If you are getting into espresso, okay? So just get the birds you want. A lot of, you have a lot of options. And also have them installed for you. So you don't have to deal with alignments. Find the zero points. They're gonna, he's gonna do everything, okay? So yeah, if I were you to spend extra money, yeah, do that. Uh, Peter asked me, why am I wearing these black gloves, Peter? Because my fingers are banged up. A lot of cuts. Yeah, so I mean, that's why I'm wearing this, okay? Because you don't want to see my ugly fingers on my, uh, this video. But I mean, luckily my video quality is not that great, so you may not see my busted fingers, but still, all right? So that's the reason why. Okay, and the jo uh, job asks, do you like the workflow of DF64P? It comes to workflow, the niche is much much better. Okay, let's put it that way. I mean, the niche is very simple. Okay, very simple, quiet. Uh, you don't have, you know, it's not noisy at all. Compared to the DF64 or P, they're pretty loud. Okay. Here, let's do a test. Okay, let's do some test on it. So, so this is sound of niche. Can you hear that? Yeah. The sound of DF64P. 
it's pretty loud. Let's go to sound of a regular plane D F. D F. Okay. This is D F. But check out the option now. Okay. You hear, hear it? It's quiet. Okay. Comes to noise factor. I mean, P sixty four is really quiet. Something loud. E K forty three. This thing is heavy duty. I mean, if you are into. I mean, if you are into like, you know, the higher quality build, obviously, you know, watch paper is what you get. But if you are looking for different flavors in your coffee, at that point, the quality of coffee, you know, machine, the coffee grinder build, I mean, DF64 is already, you know, they are good build. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they are the fine build. It's only, I think Joe is selling uh, DF64P. On his website for like 420 bucks. The F64 is around 425 to 450. Is everything is under 500. If you're gonna add a burst for another 200, have them install it. So now bring you up to same price as a Nice Zero. Okay, about the same price. So okay, hold on a second here. Uh, Gregory say Express Outlet doesn't have the alignment option on the new oh is that i'm not sure that's you know let me check on that okay yeah because i know he does offer on the df64 but df64p uh, you know what i mean i can see why because they're pain okay they're pain in the butt to align it so i mean i did align this one i did a marker test on it DF64P so yeah you might be right and the uh, dumb coffee say prioritize your grinder Peter okay wh what in but okay here we go if I had the money option I would go with dual boiler with the E64 which one is the E64 yeah so I don't know yeah, D yeah D I mean DF is fine okay uh, E61? I don't know. E61. Anyway, let's see here. We got the Peters on. Uh, we got some few people, people on our live chat here. Let's see here. Shout out to Dave. We got Jonathan, Richard, Philip. Uh, Philip from New Zealand. All right. Hold on. Who's on? We got uh, shout out to Ender as well. Ender. Gregory. Okay, hold on. Gregory say I'm 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 happy with the niche. Okay, so Gregory is happy with the niche, but something about the DF64 uh, really makes me want one. Okay, I mean if you are into espresso, the flat bird is definitely different than conical. All right, but how much time? Okay, hopefully I'm back on, guys. Man, hopefully I'm back on my live streaming. Okay, good. Again, so we are doing the, yep, uh, we are doing the simulcast. Oh, by the way, uh, if you want to join our uh, Discord channel, just uh, send me a quick uh, message on the, I mean, even like live chat as well. Not the live chat, but, you know, comment section. I'm gonna send you the link to our Discord, okay? Because, I mean, we do, we do have fun, okay? We do have fun there, okay? Hold on. Hey, Peter. Uh, yes. Send me a. Uh, Peter, I see this. Peter, send me. Uh, uh, can you send me my Instagram page? DM me, okay? I send you the link. All right. Better yet, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Discord channel link on my. Uh, comment section okay so you can just click there and just hang out with us all right better yet uh, yeah let's let's do that i'm gonna put the link on the discord channel there okay uh, richard asked df64 versus old df64 version 2 or p okay df64 p 
is only good for espresso. All right? If you want to do both, filter and uh, espresso, do not buy DF64P. Okay? This is an espresso only. Maybe triclet. Okay? Maybe AeroPress, maybe triclet. All right? So, yeah, uh, do not buy the DF64 if you want to do both brewing method. And uh, let's see, a dumb coffee say DF64, the P is an unknown. The P stands for premium. Okay. All right. Okay, so Peter say, why can't grind size bigger? Because uh, DF64P. So here's the range, hopefully I can show you. So that's the range, that's it. You cannot move beyond, uh, beyond that, okay? You are stuck right here. So that's why, unless you are going to calibrate, unless you're gonna calibrate the birds. So that's the only options. That pain though, okay? I have to admit, finding zero, zero point on DF64P, you gotta do some work. You have to remove the base plate. That's not another reason uh, I like to have Joe to, you know, Joe have him replace the birds and then have him find a, a zero point for you. If he's not, if he's not going to do alignment, okay, at least uh, have him do that. Okay, hold on. Okay, Peter, hey, Peter I'm going to put the link on the, uh, my Discord link after this, okay? Uh, send me a quick message on my uh, comment section. All right, Peter. Yeah, so if not, let's see, what else? I think we are, uh, again, sometimes nice to have both. If you have a niche grinder, uh, nice to have flappers, option as well. But if you have DF, uh, DF64 right now, if you wanna do conical birds, if you don't wanna spend, you know, seven or $800 on niche grinder, get yourself a nice hand grinder. I think I know most of you does it. Get a nice hang, hang grinder. All right. Okay, uh, manga, ma, mana, I don't know how to say. It. I don't want to butcher your name. So does Espresso Outlet install the SSP birds when included in the DF64P purchase? Okay. I think most, okay, most the birds from uh, Joe, from Espresso Outlet, uh, you know, I think you have more options there. And then, uh, you know, let's go to his website. Hold on a second here. Hold on. I'm curious now. I'm just going to go to Joe's website right now. Type it in. DF64P. I'm um, his website. Where is the DF64P? Hold on here, folks. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, oh yeah, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Here we go. 420 bucks for DF64P, 420. Let's see, bird options. Let's go with unim, uh, HU birds, color. Okay, uh, no. WDT, no. Man does not, yeah, he doesn't give you an option for alignment, okay. That's good to know. Hold on, I'm gonna check out the Plain DF. Does a DF give you an option? Uh, DF, just a plain DF. He's selling for 400 bucks. You got a bird options there. Okay, you can actually get the indicator as well, the metal dosing. And then, uh, yep, z uh, zero. The dial indicator. No, never mind on that. Bird alignments, okay. Man, so he charged, okay. 
Interesting. Because he does not offer alignment on DF64P. All right. He's not offer alignment on DF64P. Yeah, that's that's bummer. So, that's something you have to do it. I mean, mo unfortunately most of us has to do it. Because before, whenever you buy DF64 with the stock birds, and then you buy after the fact, and then you have to do, you know, alignment. Uh, uh, comes to, I do not trust factory alignment, okay? Because definitely you want to do marker test as well, but yeah. But, here's the th yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, so I did the marker test on the, uh, P60, uh, DF64P after uh, installing the Gorilla Gearbirds. The micro test comes out fine, so yeah, maybe. All right. All right. Hold on. What else? I think we are, we are good. Okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. And then, uh, so I got some fun plan for you guys coming week. And I didn't need to unbox, okay? I'm, I'm just keep saying I want to unbox the DF64E. Sitting here, right here, right now. Okay, I have DF64E sitting, so maybe let's do that Monday, okay? The DF64E is the same as the DF64P, but you have the, the time dosing options, okay? So they should be pretty slick. I think it should be fine. Okay, hold on a second. The rain asked Kahun, have you tried the Etzinger burst on your Bravo yet? I have not, okay. I'd love to get one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I did reach out to them a couple of months ago, but I have not heard from them, so yeah. I mean, if you have the link, Ren, uh, Ren let me know. Okay. We got the Hans mentioned about the DF64P all day long. Okay. All right, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful. Hold on a second here. The play nice game. Why am I being ignored? Hold on. Did you ask something? Hold on a second. Is the DF64P? Hold on. That's uh, good for mocha pot. You know what? I bet you, okay, I, I bet you can do mocha pot on DF64P. Yeah, I bet, yep. I think, I think you might, yeah, I think you might, I think you, I think you're going to be okay. All right. Hold on. Scotty say, hold on, what's Scotty asking me something here? What's Scotty asked me earlier? Oro, hold on. Which? Which is the best for express the Oro 64P? Man, that is a that is a good question. The Oro is the Eureka Oro. I gotta go with the DF64 if you ask me. All right, just not the P version. Or uh, yeah, just get the DF64. Yeah. Because you, you're going to have a lot more options. All right. Again, the DF64P is only good for espresso. So, all right. Okay, folks. I think we are pretty good 